Hey guys, Will Robinson here. I got a 2000 Oldsmobile silhouette that uh, needs an oxygen sensor. I wasn't really going to throw this up on video because I'm just trying to get it out. But uh, having a hell of a time getting this oxygen sensor out and just the one up on the manifold underneath. So I'm going to make myself a socket. I'm going to take a shallow 7 8 and I'm going to cut it down. Because as you know, this is hardened steel, so I'd, I'd be forever trying to drill it. So uh, I'm going to cut it down so the housing of the auction essential will still fit through, and I'm going to put a slice on it. We'll get to that later. Now let's cut it in half. I moved it out here because I'm not going to be here much longer. I don't want to shed a lot of sparks before I leave, so at least this way it will be shooting outside. So let me aim it down there for you. I'm just going to use a cut off wheel to cut this. You guys can see this area. It's going to be a slot for the wire. take an old swivel socket or a swivel extension I had laying around. Still a good one. But sometimes you have to destroy some tools to make better tools. I'm trying to run to the store and buy them. And I'm put this piece to use.
pull off for a little bit. close on shot of that and yeah, guys there it is the whole purpose of this whole tool was to be able to take a an extension of very various sizes from shorter to longest however much lever you need and uh, put it on there and be able to slide this over the wire down over your sensor and break it loose. How about I take you underneath the car and show you on one? show you on this oxygen sensor why I, I made this because a lot of times you get the socket that you're supposed to use with it it resembles something like this has a slot cut in it and um, let's say you could slide it over the wire and down as you can see a lot of times they're too short or you, you destroy them so uh, you can buy a style similar to this I figured I'd fabricate my own. The main thing you want to remember when you're making one like this, you want to get a real thick wall socket. Later on, I might even take and weld some reinforcement in, in each one of these corners. Mainly just this one corner here because it's pretty thin at that one point. But like I said, this is just a prototype just to uh, see if, if the concept actually works. So, as you can see, now you got plenty of room and sometimes they're on a on an angle you can't quite get at so you can put your extension on there so here I got a, a real long extension so I got plenty plenty of leverage let's see how it works this thing can be tight sometimes oh. there it goes Loose. All right, I just wanted to show you that, guys. 
I don't really need to take this one out. And uh, I'm just going to tighten it up. Use it to put it in and out. So. Alright. Well, that was just a quick one on, uh, on how I fabricate tools. The one I need to get, it's way up in the on the manifold, it's uh, sensor one. So, there's no way I get up there with a light uh, camera for you guys. So, I just wanted to give you a quick shot on this one and how that tool works. You see it in the process. There it is. Easy concept. Just had to look at what spare tools I had and, and threw it together. Hope you like it, guys. I probably could have went and bought one with the time I spent on it, but what the heck, it looks pretty cool. It functions, and uh, that's the main thing. And like I say, I fabricated it myself, so. Like always, guys, I hope you liked it. I gotta get this oxygen sensor out. This is another one that just came in for inspection. And uh, the oxygen sensor ain't cycling, so. Everything else tested out good, so I'm just gonna replace the oxygen sensor and uh, Go from there. Wish I could get you guys up in there, but I can't. And plus, I got I got to get a couple of these cars out. But at least I got to show you that tool. And uh, I hope you liked it. Like always, if you learned anything, all I say is subscribe, leave a comment for any request. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm always more than happy to help you. So uh, shoot me an email or a comment, and I'll get back to you. All right, thank you guys. Have a good one.